Hi, David Mela here. Today I'm going to show you how I make wheatgrass, uh, or how I grow wheatgrass, and then I make wheatgrass juice from it. Wheatgrass juice is one of the most uh, nutrient-dense uh, drinks that you can make, and it's so good for you, it's so healthy. And to make it though, you have to use wheatgrass, obviously, and you can't normally buy wheatgrass at your local grocery store. You have to probably grow it on your own. So if you take a look here, I've got three tubs here. And this is wheatgrass that I've grown. Okay, this, this one here has never been cut. I've never cut the wheatgrass at all. This is the way it grows. This one's already been cut one time. Okay, It's going to be ready soon for the second cutting. It's already grown as tall almost as the other one. And this is a tub that has just dirt in it. So what I've done is I've put topsoil in here, good soil. And this tub is a plastic tub and I put four little holes that I've drilled with a uh, drill in here so it can drain. You want it to be able to be drainable. And I just put dirt in there. And what I'll do is I'll put, this is called soft white wheat. You can get this at Patel Brothers. You can buy it online. You can also use red wheat. It doesn't matter which ones you use. Um, they will grow the same way. They're just as healthy for you. And what I'll do is I'll take the soft white wheat seeds. Now I can put them in here dry. You can also use a container like this which has little holes in the mason jar at the top. And you can put them in here and soak them in water and that way they have little roots and you put them in there. You can do that if you want, it's up to you. Uh, it depends on how much time you have and how much wheatgrass you're gonna grow. I just like to sometimes just do it like this and I just put the wheatgrass seeds in here and I just fill them full. Uh, try and layer the whole thing as best I can. You're gonna have to flatten it out a little bit when you do it. And just put them around. And then what I'm going to do when I'm done with this is I'm going to put another type of seed in here too. And the reason being is they complement each other. So I have something called red clover. You can also use alfalfa. Alfalfa is great for that too. You can buy them online. You can buy them at your local, uh, uh, let's see, Patel Brothers has them. Uh, the easiest way if you don't have a Patel Brothers near you is just go on Amazon or go on uh, eBay or one of those stores online. And you can go easily. There's also a lot of grocery, or, uh, green nurseries uh, online, farms, and there's a big one out of Florida, and they'll ship it right to your house. You can buy it by the barrel, you can buy it by a bag, and it's pretty cheap. You know, you're talking probably, I don't know, maybe at, uh, Patel Brothers is $2 for a uh, two pound bag. So online, you might pay, you'll pay about the same, but you might have to get a slightly bigger bag. You might have to get a five pound or 10 pound bag to make it worth the uh, shipping and handling. In any case, so you can see here, I'm going to fill this whole thing up with the seeds. Try and get them all over in there. Now, you're not going to use a whole bag. This is just the end of a bag. This bag, one bag of two pounds, will last you for quite a while. Several months, probably, depending on how much you use. So you can see here, I've got the uh, wheatgrass seeds all layered out. And then what I'm going to do is this right here is a bag I have of clover seed. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll take some of these. And the reason being is clover puts nitrogen back in the soil. Wheatgrass extracts it big time. So you'll see once you're done and you've cut the wheatgrass and you're done with it, you'll see the soil in here will be depleted. The uh, wheatgrass will pull all the nutrients out of the soil. That's why it's so nutritious. So putting these clover seeds in here so it grows a little clover in there helps to keep the put the nitrogen back in there and makes your plants naturally uh, very green and very nutritious. So I put a little bit of that in there. And you can buy clover, as I said, online. It's very cheap, a couple dollars, maybe possibly ten dollars for like five pounds or something like that. Okay, and then what I'll do, so they're all in there. Now, you, again, as I said, you can soak, pre-soak them if you want. It's very hard to do that with clover seeds because they're very small. But the wheatgrass seeds, all you got to do is take a little nail hole. You can punch it in here, make little holes, and you can fill this with water and drain it if you want to put them in wet. I'm just putting them in dry right now. Both ways work fine. And then you take a layer of the seed starter mix, which is very fluffy. And we'll just, because you want something light on top. You don't want a lot of dirt on top because it won't grow through. And just put this on top and just cover them up with a layer of this. Okay? Just put this all on top. <laughs> kind of a little bit dirty here, but that's fine. And uh, a little bit messy, I mean. And you just put this on top. Make sure you cover all the seeds good because the ones that aren't covered won't grow as well. 
Okay, They'll, this will keep them moist, uh, it'll give them a better chance to grow, and this is just really good for holding them in here. Uh, especially if you put it outside, if you put it outside and you don't cover up the seeds, the birds will get to them. Okay, so birds love to eat wheatgrass seeds, they'll pull them all out if, if you give them a chance. So I can grow these inside, usually I grow them inside and I'll put it in a windowsill, I'll get one of those trays that have, or those shelves, built-in shelves that has multiple uh, shelves or shelving structure and then I'll put it in there. Um, so that's how that works and then you just take water in a container like this and what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of baking soda. You don't have to add the baking soda, it'll grow fine. But the difference is, I don't know if you can see it from there, this one has no mold on it, no mold or no uh, um, anything like that. This one starts getting these bread molds that grow in there. I don't know if you can see it or not because I did not spray this one with the baking soda on purpose so you could be, see that. And you will get a little bit of mold in there. So if you take uh, baking soda, a little pinch, that's all it takes, put that in your water, make sure you mix it up because if you don't, it'll clog up the sprayer. And just take a sprayer bottle and get it wet. That's all it really needs. You just get it wet. Good and wet. <clears throat> and that's all you need to do. And then you got to give it about three or four days and you'll start to see the tips of the uh, wheatgrass starting to grow through and then it grows really fast after that. Within about five to ten days depending on your climate, the heat, how much sun it gets, it'll grow like these two and this one literally took about nine days from start. That's about how high it is and it's ready to use and when you use it for wheatgrass juice you cut it off about here and cut it all off, put in a uh, juicer or a um, blender. I prefer to use a blender because wheatgrass is very hard on a juicer. A lot of juicers can't handle grasses like this. Or you have to mix it with some other vegetables. Kale, uh, tomatoes, whatever you're going to mix it with so it stays more uh, fluid and uh, doesn't get, uh, what it'll do is it'll clog up your juicer and it'll wear out the motor quicker. So a blender won't have a problem with this. I've got a Ninja blender, it works great with it. And you can cut it numerous times. You can see here this has already been cut once and you can see the little, how they're all, they've all been cut and it grew back and uh, some of them are still growing back. So as it grows back, it will not be quite as green and it'll do it again. And then eventually get to the point where it starts to turn yellow and it's no longer really that nutritious anymore. So then you just dump that soil and you put new soil back in. And that's basically how you grow wheatgrass. Again, you can get wheatgrass seeds online. Easiest way, if you live in the city, you don't have a Patel Brothers near you um, or an agricultural store that carries wheatgrass seeds, it's hard to find them. So you can just go online, type in on Google, uh, wheatgrass seeds, buy wheatgrass seeds, something like that. And the price shouldn't be more than like $5 for five pounds, $10 for five pounds. You know, you will see some people trying to sell it for a lot more, but you also might be looking at something that has a 55 gallon drum or larger of it. And that's a lot. That's like a lifetime supply of wheatgrass seeds. Uh, you may not need that much. So um, you probably won't. Uh, but that's basically all you do. You just get a bag like this, put the wheatgrass on some good soil. You know, obviously if you use soil just from uh, red clay or something, it's not going to grow anywhere near as good. You want good topsoil. Uh, you can go to your store and get a bag. You can go to Ollie's and get a bag for like three bucks. You can go to uh, uh, Walmart and get a bag for three dollars. You can go to uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. A bag of topsoil will last you a long time. As you can see here, this container I'm using here is less than a foot long and less than a foot wide. It's kind of small. You can use bigger ones. You can use a bigger tub if you want. It's up to you. Um, again, then just spray it with water that has a little bit of baking soda. And if you don't, you will get some mold in there. And they will also get a tendency to get fruit flies after a while too. So that keeps that down. Well, I hope you learned a lot from this and I hope it helps you out. Um, I've got a lot of great other videos on juicing wheatgrass, taking this wheatgrass, making it into wonderful juices that will make you healthy uh, and make you just feel great and fight off things like chronic disease, cancer, uh, and numerous other maladies and just make you feel good. So please watch my other videos. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.